The intention of this video is to provide the most comprehensive data analysis on YouTube for Rollbit's possible path for a thousand to a ten thousand X between 2023 until 2026 and possibly being either the primary superstar of the next crypto cycle or among the main crypto superstars for the next bull run cycle. So today, guys, we're going to discuss what is the possibility that Rollbit would do something like that, would go to something between $1 to $10, possibly like we drew here, something like $7 to $8. What are the mathematical possibility of that happening? And we're going to provide dashboards that you can monitor live whenever you like. Until 2026, you can just click run and update the data and just see for yourself what is the likelihood that Rollbit is still heading for a 10,000x in this crypto bull run cycle? So first of all, guys, we need to understand the macro situation for the online gambling industry in the world since 2019 for the past four years. And guys, the growth rate for the general online gambling world, not particularly Rollbit or the crypto casino, but just the general world of online gambling is growing like crazy since 2019 all right and this is the projected revenue in 2023 for the total uh world of gambling which is 95 billion dollars and it's supposed to grow by approximately 20 percent every single year for the general world of gambling okay so as we understand the total revenue is approximately a hundred billion dollars in the world okay an important thing to remember okay so Rollbit are showing us what is the revenue what is the primary revenue that they have from their casino crypto exchange and sports book okay and this is approximately 1.5 million dollars per day which accounts to 500 million dollars a year okay so this is only 0.1 percent of the total worldwide online gambling revenue that is projected for 2023. The online gambling has exceptionally high growth forecasts for the next decade, with Rollbit accounting for only 0.1% of the total revenue share right now. And as we speak, Rollbit already made 100x since the beginning of 2023, while it accounts for almost nothing from the macro world of online gambling okay so it has legit potential to have a lot more upside for the roll bit token given their tokenomics and this is what we're gonna analyze very very deeply in this video and as i said i'm gonna share with you guys the dashboard for that and also another uh, medium article that i'm working on okay but basically we're gonna answer in this video and in my article and dashboard according to the new roll bit tokenomics and on-chain data does their buy and burn revenue mechanism can take them on the road to a thousand to a ten thousand x within the next three years we're gonna answer and analyze exactly that in this video and let's start first in this data analysis project first from the buy and burn tokenomics mechanism direct effect on the price okay so what we have here guys is this is the beginning of the net dashboard okay so what you see here is first of all the total roll bit that was burnt ever since they started their program on august 10th 2023 all right and this is the exact same uh, rollbit tokens but just in the usd valuation all right so every single day they have revenue okay as we said of approximately 1.5 million dollars and they burn 10 percent of this revenue here 30 percent of this revenue here and 20 percent of this revenue here every single day or more specifically they buy of the open market Rollbit tokens, they burn most of it, and then 10% of that is being allocated to the Rollbot uh, NFTs. But what we have here on chain is the exact amount and the exact tokens that were transferred to the burn address on Ethereum. Okay, so you have like the exact just the total amount of USD and the total amount of Rollbit tokens, and then you have a table that you're welcome to analyze whenever you like exactly how much they burned every single day and how much did it affect the total burning rate that they've had so now guys interestingly the data that we have for the past one month okay says to us that they were burning between a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars every single uh day for the past 
month. So the reason we did this dashboard is that it's gonna have live data and anybody in the world can update the data by just running uh, the queries once again, which I'm also gonna do here and there. And we're always gonna have ongoing data here, even past the point that I'm recording this video, you, you know, to October and to 2024, 2025 and so on. And we're just gonna still see how much were they burning, okay? How many tokens were they burning in USD valuation? And also what we have here is the price correlation with these burns, okay? So how much does it affect the price? So because they started burning here only in August, it still didn't affect the price much, but arguably it actually helped sustain Rollbit above the 14, 15 cents region. And otherwise Rollbit would have probably dropped a lot more from the crazy pump that it had. So, so far they're holding the price. And again, in the long term, this is not financial advice, we're gonna see what's happening in the future, but in the long term, they could help a lot by increasing the price but we're gonna analyze exactly that later in the video so guys now it's a really really important point in the video that i really want you guys to understand okay so understand this since august they've burned this amount of money worth of roll bit okay and they uh basically contributed to the buy pressure of seven million dollars worth of roll bit since august and i'm recording the video in september so uh as of September 8, okay, they burned a total amount of $7 million. But the total uh, amount that was bought on Ethereum since they launched on Ethereum, which was on June 28, was this exact amount, okay, $22 million. And another really important thing is that on Solana, since the very beginning of the year, okay, since January 2023, they uh, on Solana you had a net bought net amount bought of usd on solana of only five million dollars okay so that was from january 2023 that was from june 28 and as you may guess this seven million dollars okay that uh the robot team uh burned they contributed so like this 22 million like minus the, the seven it means that like the actual market contributed 15 million dollars to this uh buy pressure but uh, the Rollbit team, by burning more Rollbit supply and buying it off the market, contributed another $7 million. But the important thing, guys, is that this was their pace. Okay, so, like, I don't count this uh, day because, uh, to my understanding, they, like, actually were buying more uh, Rollbit actually before August 10th. So, I can't really include it in my average, okay? So, once I calculated the average, I calculated from here, from August 11th until September 8th, okay? So, according to the average, from basically a month, more or less, and we're going to analyze uh, what is the average m moving forward, okay? The average was uh, 1080 one and one and eighty thousand dollars worth of rollbit every single day which accounts for five million dollars per month okay why is that super super important and i want you guys to really pay attention is because think about it only on solana okay the total amount of buy pressure that solana had uh from january 1st until today was five million dollars okay uh, why that's crazy because like uh, you know at the time it pushed the price of uh, uh, RLB from 0 0.2 all the way to approximately 345 cents okay so basically they did more than a 10x uh, thanks to uh, these 5 million dollars uh, bought on Solana okay uh, now, granted, the liquidity back then was a lot lower on Solana, and now the liquidity, including Ethereum, is a lot higher. So we're also going to analyze how much money moved the price on Ethereum. But just so you just grasp, okay, so the amount of money that Rollbit was able to burn uh, worth of Rollbit tokens during one single month, okay, was $5 million. The exact amount uh, that moved the price on Solana by approximately 15 20x okay and rollbit was already three four five cents worth okay then rollbit corrected a little bit just before the ethereum launch okay and it was worth 10.5 ish uh cents more or less before it launched on ethereum uh and as you can see we've had another almost uh 10x and now we corrected a little bit and as you can see here then on Ethereum, we've had a $22 million that basically moved the price 
from 2 cents to 15 cents as I'm recording the video. And as we said, the team, by buying back and burning, contributed basically 33% of that overall buy power. And again, this uh, the $5 million is like just in one single month. So if that makes sense, one of my first primary conclusions, okay, is that just based on these new tokenomics that uh, Rollbit has, okay, it's like nothing is impossible in markets. You know, I'm not going to say impossible, but let's say it's extremely close to impossible for Rollbit uh, to correct, uh, you know, like back to these levels of like one or two cents or something like that, just because they have so much more buy pressure now and we're only accounting for like what happened recently okay so we're not even accounting for additional growth okay for, we're not accounting yet for robot having even higher market share from the overall online gambling okay we're just accounting on like based on how much they burned during the past one single month okay so the buy and burn program accounted for 33 percent of the buy pressure on ethereum since they launched on ethereum assuming a continuous one eighty thousand uh, dollars worth of rollbit burn rate per day for the next two years that would account for 131 million dollars extra buy pressure over two years again assuming they have just the exact same revenue that they've had during the past month uh, assuming rollbit's team buy pressure ratio would remain at 33%, which is a conservative estimation because June to September 2023 was still in the bear market sideways years for the general crypto world. Uh, activity which occurred in a bear market. So that would account for a total of $400 million of buy pressure in 2023 until 2025, which is 19x more than the buy pressure that moved the price of Rollbit from $0.02 cents to $0.15, cents, Okay, which was this. Okay, so this moved the price of Rollbit from $0.02 cents to $0.15. Cents. And if in the next two years, Rollbit is going to have the exact same uh, revenue and the exact same tokenomics, and uh, also uh, the open market is going to have the exact same approximately buy pressure that it had during the past uh, three months, uh, it's going to account for 19x more dollars flowing into the Rollbit token. Now, it's not going to account for 19x in the price because the liquidity is going to increase, but it's still going to account for a lot, a lot of upside. And according to my calculations, it's still going to be at least actually only this. OK, only this is going to get rolled it to at least one dollar, which would account actually to a thousand X from the bottom. So, but that actually is conservative, in my opinion, because assuming Rollbit's revenue will 5x to 10x, during the next two to three years hence the burn rate would also 5x to 10x and a similar bull market behavior by the market as in 2021 that could lead to a total of a 10,000 x from the bottom that seems possible the dashboard would allow us to monitor rollbit's possible path to a thousand x to a 10,000 x uh, moving forward non-financial advice and as always do your own research all right guys so this was the first section of the data analysis that we've did here which as we said was the buy and burn tokenomics mechanism now the next thing that i want to analyze is that they said that uh, hey we have to migrate from solana to ethereum because we were basically thwarted uh, or we reached the ceiling on solana okay and i wanted to analyze that on chain and also have everyone uh, have a dashboard available of what is the activity that is happening on the Solana chain and what is the activity that is happening on the Ethereum chain so that you have both so that you know exactly what's happening and you can prepare uh, moving forward. So um, let's get back to the second part of the analysis, which is again, just comparing Solana to Ethereum. So this is the total amount that was bought on Ethereum since late June 2023, okay? Net amount of US dollars. That was $22 million, as we said. On the Solana chain, that was $5 million. Now, check the first really interesting thing, guys, okay? So the average daily volume on Ethereum, okay, for since the end of June, since they launched, was $9 million. That's the average daily volume on the Ethereum side for Rollbit. Uh, the average volume on Solana, the average weekly volume, I should say, okay, was less than Ethereum's daily volume. 
So Ethereum basically has an average 8.5x higher volume than Solana. Okay, that's the first very, very important thing. And again, all of that is going to be updated every single day. So let's say you see this video in a month and you uh, enter the dashboard um, that you will have in the description below. You will probably see a little bit of a different numbers. Um, now, guys, let's also see uh, the volume overlaid with price on the Ethereum chain and the volume overlaid with price on the Solana chain. Okay, and over here, you can also see that the price has a very kind of very strong correlation with the increase in volume. Okay, so you had more volume here, increase in price, more volume again here, more increase in price. Okay, on Solana, of course, uh, so this is like the beginning of the year. Okay, so as, uh, as we said, on Ethereum, we don't have anything before June. On Solana, we have stuff here from January. Okay, so as we said, on Solana, this major move from zero two cents in the beginning of the year to approximately like this range of two cents to five cents was basically reached on Solana. And you can see this massive spike that we've had back then. So obviously the Solana chain was the primary contributor for the first basically 10 to 20 X that Rollbit did this year. But then you can see that the price rocketed further, of course, when uh, Rollbit migrated to Ethereum, but the volume just like, you know, subsided substantially. So obviously this volume didn't contribute much to this price appreciation. So in the next charts here, we can also see just very similar behavior. Okay. So over here, you just have the cumulative. Okay. Every single day, just how much cumulative uh, net amount was bought on Ethereum and on Solana. And as you can see, also, when you look at the cumulative net amount bought, right, you can see again, a uh, correlation of the price going higher together as uh, more and more people basically provide more and more new buy pressure on the Ethereum chain. So as we can see, since June, we have very direct correlation here. But then on the Solana chain, um, again, we had very strong correlation in the beginning of the year. The price rocketed and we had, you know, this $5 million invested uh, on the Solana chain in Rollbit. But then, as you can see, you had a major correction uh, for the price, right? So the price dropped from like 5 cents to 1.8 cents. Similarly to all of the sell pressure that was happening here like in March, April and May. But then, as you can see, the price rocketed. And, uh, you know, you did have uh, some new buy pressure on the Solana chain. But as you guys know, on the Solana chain, you just had like extra $2 million invested once again, while on the Ethereum chain, you had a total of $22 million. So basically, since the launch on Ethereum, uh, Ethereum contributed $22 million of extra buy pressure and Solana contributed only $2 million, 11x less. So we definitely strongly can conclude that uh, the, Ether the migration to Ethereum did wonders for Rollbit. And basically, I will even say that it allowed Rollbit just to really go above this five cents region and just reach new heists and uh, reach new potential. So that was definitely a very, very good move by Rollbit. OK, but moving forward. Again, you're going to be able to analyze and uh, let's say they're going to migrate to new chains. Of course, I'm going to be able to add the other chains to this dashboard as well. And we're going to analyze all of the buy pressure that is happening on all the chains that Rollbit is uh, available at. Now, guys, let's continue for the last uh, and third section of the analysis of the data analysis that I did here. And I want to mention that the next part of the analysis is more like for the trading, for the short to midterm trading. OK, it's very speculative, short to midterm focused. I personally don't use it for trading RLB myself. However, I know that there are many traders out there and many people who love the, you know, very interested in this kind of stuff. Uh, so an interesting correlation was observed, which may assist short term speculation on RLB. The correlation that was observed, guys, uh, was actually between the team wallets activity, okay, to RLB price movement. The team wallets hold Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, USDC and USDT that anybody can transfer uh, to uh, their custodial wallets and, you know, to use them on the Rollbit platform. Uh, primarily Bitcoin, Ethereum and Solana movement indicated an impending price movement of RLB. A really important thing, guys, that I need to uh, include here, okay, in the analysis. Please note that the correlation doesn't mean cause and effect, okay? So I don't have any direct proof that actually these exact funds had an effect on the price, okay? 
uh, I observed uh, basically what I did here I observed new, uh, neutral data and uh, you know in a data analysis project if I find something interesting if I find correlations just like we've had here I want to share it with you guys on YouTube. So I felt it could be valuable for the, sh again, short to mid-term oriented uh, individuals. So check this out, guys. So this is their uh, Bitcoin activity, okay? So first of all here, okay, basically they had two major things here, okay? So this is like cumulative information, again, like we've had before. So what you can see here is that they had a large transfer here of 2,000 Bitcoin, on uh, uh, like around these times when they launched on the Ethereum chain, okay. And after this 2,000 uh, Bitcoin uh, 2,000 Bitcoin transactions into their wallet, they had crazy pump, okay. They pumped from two to three cents all the way to 12 uh, point something cents, okay, a 4x. Then once again, guys, have a look how here they had another thousand uh, Bitcoin transaction that again followed very briefly. But, uh, by another 2.5x move and as you can see these were the two very uh, important like the really big transactions in of bitcoin that uh, corresponded with a lot a lot more upside now again what we have to mention these are only two data points so obviously uh, you know in the future if they have something similar again it doesn't mean it's going to happen once again because it's only two data points but that being said you know, so far it's a hundred percent success rate, right? So this is Bitcoin. Now Solana is interesting on the opposite side. Like uh, again, and here visually, it's really crazy, right? So have a look. Like on the two occasions since uh, June, right? Since they launched on the Ethereum chain, uh, on the two occasions, on two occasions that they've had uh, big transactions out, Sol Solana out of their wallets. Look, it was like at the exact top. Okay, at the exact first top over here, and then another one at the exact top over here. So for Bitcoin and Solana, we have like so far, again, only two data points for both, but very direct correlation. Like it's it just almost like over here with Solana, it's just on the very day of the top, right? And with Bitcoin, it's kind of very close to the beginning of, uh, of new price appreciation. So again, for uh, this is, uh, you know, this is not to bash the Roll B team. Uh, again, I, I think more likely it's a coincidence, uh, but uh, you know, so far uh, it, it, the data worked, right? So again, this, this video is for the retail people. So, you know, if it was working so far for the short to midterm, it may work again. Now, if you're interested, you can also have a look on the Ethereum side of things and on the USDT side of things. Now, basically, in my opinion, uh, Ethereum had uh, some correlation, as I kind of summarized here. USDT had very little co correlation, in my opinion, and uh, USDC had no correlation at all. So, as we said, um, again, I don't, I, con I think there's no cause and effect. Again, I have no idea. Uh, but again, because it worked so far. There are many people who are interested in short-term to mid-term trading. Look, guys, if it's going to repeat, uh, <laughs> you know, it's a very, very nice uh, on-chain signal, right, to trade RLB token. Um, so lastly, guys, what you're going to be able to see in the dashboard is just, uh, you know, the balances that they have, how much money do they transfer uh, in and out, uh, you know, how much uh, funds did they have, uh, like, you know, uh, in the past, okay, so another really interesting thing maybe about these three charts and also these tables, if you're going to see it for yourself on Dune Analytics, is, uh, look, what we want to see is something like the USDC, USDT situation here, and, uh, you know, like Solana, you want to see it growing and growing, because if this is growing, this is growing, and this is growing, it's basically showing us that more and more people transferring in more and more funds to the Rollbit platform, and then probably they're using a lot more funds to wager and to gamble on the uh, Rollbit platform, and then Rollbit are obviously making fees out of all of that, and as you guys know, 10% of the casino revenue, 30% of the future revenue, and 20% of the sports revenue of all of these uh, new funds that are being transferred in, uh, are basically used to buy back the token and burn it even more and create more upside. So what I'm trying to say here, guys, is that you can also uh, analyze these three and just, you know, as it's growing, it means the total platform is growing and Robit is likely to keep heading higher according to these charts.
So yeah, guys, hope you liked this data analysis. Hope, hope it helps you. And really, my intention is that anybody who watches this video and will see the links for my Dune Analytics dashboard and another Medium article that I'm also going to uh, report, which you're also going to be able to read here and just see the charts also here. My intention is that whether you're watching this video in 2023, 2024, or 2025, it's going to be helpful for you to really see like where we are basically on the path to the 10,000 X that we drew uh, here by 2025 and uh, maybe 2026. Uh, so again, that's the intention of the video, guys. If you've liked the video, again, don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, guys, if, if you have anything to say, I'm really wondering, like, do you think a 10,000x for Rollbit is possible? Do you really think it's going to be like the primary superstar of the next crypto cycle or at least one of them? Please let me know in the comment section below. But again, I was very happy to be here with you. This was AR7 Crypto. And uh, yeah, ha have a fantastic week and a fantastic weekend ahead. Cheers, guys.